In this video, we will be putting some AI tools to the test to see if they can create a stunning 3D model of everyone's favorite Super Saiyan. Welcome to the Artificially Inked YouTube channel, your source for all things AI. My name is R7, and I'll be your guide today. Join me as we dive into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence. Today we'll be using a variety of AI tools to create a 3D model that aims to rival those crafted by industry professionals. Together, we'll explore the capabilities of these cutting-edge technologies and see just how close we can get to professional-level results. If you like this kind of content, make sure and hit the like and subscribe button. Your support for the channel is greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's dive in and get to work. Today we're going to replicate an example model from Sketchfab. It's a low poly model of Goku, created by the talented Gibbs Art. Make sure to give him a follow and explore some of his other amazing work. Let's take a closer look at this model. For a low poly piece, it's impressively detailed with the textures doing a lot of the heavy lifting We'll start by examining the wireframe to understand its structure a bit better. Then, we'll check out the base mesh to see the details in the sculpt. Now let's open up some tools and see what we can create. To ensure each AI tool gets a fair evaluation, we have employed a technique similar to the one used in a previous video. You can find the link to that video pinned in the corner. We have a screenshot of this model capturing both the fully rendered version and the base color. We'll use these images as the foundation for any image to 3D process we utilize. This way, our input remains consistent across all tools, providing a reliable comparison. By standardizing our input, we can accurately assess each tool's capabilities and see how they handle the same starting point. Let's get started and see which AI tool comes out on top. The first tool we'll use for today's experiment is Trepo 3D. In a previous video, we built an entire game world using this very tool, showcasing its versatility and power. Given that experience, Trepo 3D should be more than capable of achieving today's task. When you sign up, Trepo generously provides 600 free credits, which is more than enough for our experiment. There are two methods we can use to create our 3D mesh, the image to 3D option and the text to 3D option. For the image to 3D option, we'll use our sample image to see how well Trepo can recreate the model from a visual reference. Next, we'll test the text to 3D option to see if the system is trained on Dragon Ball characters. By testing both methods, we'll get a comprehensive understanding of Trepo 3D's capabilities and see which approach yields the best results. Let's dive in and start our experiment. Let's kick things off with the image to 3D feature and see what kind of results we can achieve. First, click on the image icon, select our sample image of Goku, and then click Create. You'll notice that as soon as we upload our image, the sample models in the background change, indicating that Trepo recognizes our friend Goku. Trepo 3D offers up to three free retries to generate our mesh, which is a fantastic way to ensure we get the best possible version. I recommend using all three retries and selecting the best version from those attempts, if you're not satisfied with the results from the free retries, you can use additional credits for further retries to refine the model. Now let's click on our creation and take a closer look. Once we have a model that we are satisfied with, we can refine the model for additional credits. I will download the best version of this model and save it for our comparison later in the video. The next step is to test the text to 3D feature. Fortunately, Trepo 3D has been trained on images of Goku and understands what we're asking for. This makes it possible for us to use a relatively simple prompt while still achieving excellent results. To proceed, simply input Goku as the description. Then, click the cog icon and check the box for the T-pose. This should guide Trepo 3D in generating the desired model efficiently. With these straightforward steps, we should get the results we're aiming for. 
Trepo will generate four versions of the mesh. Each additional retry will consume 60 credits. Once you have chosen a mesh, you will have the option to refine the mesh as well. When we have a mesh that we are satisfied with, let's download it to compare with other text to image tools. Let's move forward and see how Trepo 3D stands up against other AI tools in our comparison. Next tool, we will be exploring Meshi AI. Like Trepo 3D, Meshi offers both text to 3D and image to 3D options. The steps we will use with Meshi AI are almost identical to those we used with Trepo 3D. Meshi AI provides 200 free credits per month, which is more than enough to accomplish today's goal. First, let's start with the text to 3D method. When we begin, we'll be greeted with several fields. A prompt field, a negative prompt field, an option to change models, a style selection, and an option to assign a specific seed. For our experiment today, we will use this example prompt. We'll leave the model at the default setting. For the art style, select realistic. We will ignore the seed selection for now. Once everything is set, we're ready to generate our mesh. This process will take up to one minute and will cost us five credits. After the generation is complete, we will be presented with four preview meshes. These initial previews are low quality. Once we decide on the best mesh, it's time to refine it. This refining process will also take one minute and cost us an additional five credits. Once our mesh is fully refined, we can view it in the preview window. Here, we can examine our base mesh without textures and also view the wireframe of the model. Meshi AI allows us to change our wireframe from triangles to quads. If you subscribe to Meshi AI, there is also an option to edit the textures of your mesh. Let's download the best version of this mesh so we can save it for our comparison later in the video. Now let's move on to the image to 3D option. Just like with the previous tool, it's as simple as dragging and dropping an image. Once you've done that, click generate and, after about 1 minute and 5 credits, you'll be able to view your mesh. Similar to the text to 3D option, you will have the ability to view the base mesh and wireframe, as well as access various settings to adjust and refine the mesh. These features allow you to fine-tune the model to better meet your needs and ensure it aligns with your vision. So now that we have all of our meshes, let's head into Blender and compare the results. We're now in Blender with our first example, generated using Meshi AI's text to 3D feature. At first glance, the textures are rough but impressively detailed. Let's switch to the wireframe view to get a better look at the structure. This mesh has been converted to quads, which should make further editing smoother. Now, let's examine the base mesh. While the overall form is decent, the face region is lacking in detail and accuracy, which is a significant drawback for this model. Here we have the model generated using Meshi's image to 3D method. The textures on this version are noticeably less detailed compared to our previous example. Let's switch to the wireframe view to examine the structure. This mesh has also been converted to quads, which is helpful for further refinement. As we take a closer look at the base mesh, we can see that it lacks significant detail and appears somewhat mushy. A final inspection reveals some definite smudging in the textures, which detracts from the overall quality. Now let's take a look at the results from Trepo 3D. This is our first example from Trepo 3D, generated using the image to 3D method. At first glance, this model closely resembles our example image, achieving a more accurate overall look. However, upon closer inspection, the face section of the mesh appears to be generated in a rather unusual manner. Let's switch to the wireframe view to further analyze the structure. This model has also been converted to quads but features a significantly higher polygon count compared to Meshi's models. Examining the base mesh, we observe a similar level of detail as seen in previous generations. Upon final inspection, this model is quite close to our desired results but still has its flaws. While it captures the overall appearance better, there are areas, particularly the face, 
that need improvement. The last model on our list is the text to 3D generation from Trapo 3D. The first thing to notice about this model is that similar to Meshi's text to 3D version, the texture is highly detailed. Although this version closely resembles our example mesh, there are definitely some noticeable differences. Let's examine the wireframe. This mesh is also converted to quads, but the layout appears quite unusual. When we look at the base mesh, we observe the same low level of detail as seen in the other generations. While this model comes close to achieving our desired result, it still has its peculiarities and areas that need improvement. So there you have it, four attempts to recreate the Goku model using two of the industry-leading 3D AI tools. While each of these generations came close to matching our example model, there were numerous defects in each of the models. Despite the remarkable creations we've achieved on this channel using these and similar AI tools, it appears that in this instance, the tools have fallen short. This demonstrates that, for now, our human artists are still outperforming the current set of AI tools when it comes to detailed and accurate 3D modeling. This concludes our experiment for today. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Our goal is to keep you up to date on all the cutting edge AI technologies. Until next time friends keep pushing boundaries and stay creative. Goodbye.